Welcome back to my course on genome editing and engineering. We were discussing about the CRISPR-Cas9 system in genome editing in part A. In part B, we are going to discuss a little bit more of its uh, specific applications. Uh, here uh, is a picture which may be familiar to you when we were discussing about the uh, JFN technology. So, this is basically the uh, entry of HIV. Uh, into a cell which requires the presence of both CD4 and CCR5 and you know about the CCR5 del 32 mutation due to which there is a truncation in the uh, uh, protein and uh, thereby uh, the uh, uh, receptor becomes unavailable for binding of the HIV virus. and as a result of which it cannot enter the cell and such population of the cells or individuals are therefore resistant uh, to HIV infection and uh, particularly the individuals which are homozygous uh, so very high uh, rate of resistance and those with heterozygous uh, uh, conditions uh, can delay the onset of uh, HIV uh, progression. So, um, uh, this uh, approach can be used for gene therapy of HIV infection and we have discussed this in the earlier two cases of uh, Jellyfin and uh, also uh, Talon. We can also use CRISPR-Cas9 uh, in, in a similar way and all these statistics are known to you about that 1 percent uh, population. Uh, with a uh, homozygous uh, condition and then uh, you also know about the American patient with HIV infection uh, who was uh, having acute myeloid uh, leukemia and uh, he was given bone marrow transplant from a CCR5 delta 32 donor for this therapy and this also cured him of the HIV1 infection and uh, these were some of the accidental things which help in the development of a gene therapy approach uh, for HIV. So, we now know that many of the uh, CCR5 and CXCR4 editing methods through JDFN and TELIN are under uh, clinical trials. Uh, in the case of uh, uh, CRISPR-Cas9, Lee et al in 2017 designed two different guide RNA combinations targeting both CXCR4 and CCR5 in a single uh, vector. The CRISPR as the RNA Cas9 was successfully used to edit uh, CXCR4 and CCR5 genes in various cell lines and primary uh, CD4 plus uh, T cells. And they used two lengthy uh, X4R5 Cas9 constructs that contain guide RNA targeting the CCR5 region uh, with two different guide RNA targeting the uh, CXCR4, uh, uh, GX41 and uh, GX42. Using GX41 oblique uh, 2 CRISPR RNA loop tracer RNA was amplified and inserted into the uh, lengthy SGR5 castine vector digested with PAC1 and KPN1. The modified cells were found to resist, found to be resistant to uh, CXCR4 trophic or CCR5 trophic HI, HIV1 uh, infection. You can see here the schematic diagram of single guide RNA of CXC R4 and CCR5 targets and uh, the vector uh, construction. So, the figure A shows the schematic of uh, CXC R4 and CCR5 coding region uh, in the genomic DNA sequences which are targeted by Lenti X4R5 uh, Cas9. And in B you can see the structure of the Lenti X4R5 uh, Cas9 vectors expressing the Cas9 and the dual uh, single guide RNA. In figure C we can see the guide RNA sequences uh, which are used in the lenti X4 R5 Cas9 uh, vectors. So, you can see here uh, the, the 
CXCR4 and CCR5 zines and the corresponding guide RNAs which are being designed with uh, the target sequences and the palm sequences here. The vectors are transfected into different cell lines uh, to carry out the editing. Lenti X45R Cas9 modified primary CD4 plus T cells resists the HIV cell age or infection. Uh, in uh, figure you can see uh, the gel analysis of the various experiments. Uh, the T7 E1 analysis of uh, CXCR4 and CCR5 uh, disruption is uh, presented. And in B, uh, the sequencing analysis of the typical non-homologous and joining indels of the related targets are uh, presented. The versatility of the CRISPR-Cas9 uh, as a genome editing technology is apparent to you uh, by the various examples uh, given so far. Uh, it is widely used for studying the functionality of genetic elements creating genetically modified organisms as well as uh, preclinical research of uh, genetic disorders. Uh, unfortunately, amidst all uh, these uh, potential uh, applications, one major concern is the high frequency of off-target activity uh, or RGEN, RNA-guided endonuclease induced mutations at sites other than the intended on-target site, especially in the case of therapeutic or clinical applications. Efforts are on to understand the basic mechanisms underlying off-target activity in the CRISPR-Cas9 system, methods for detecting off-target mutations and strategies for minimizing off-target cleavage are being uh, actively uh, pursued or explored. We now know that uh, CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA duplex are fused uh, to generate a chim chimeric single guide uh, RNA. And the first uh, 20 nucleotides of these single guide RNA are complementary to the target DNA sequence, uh, followed by a sequence called the PAM motif, uh, which is typically uh, NGG. Although the targeting specificity of castine is believed to be tightly controlled by the above mentioned uh, approximately 20 nucleotide guide sequence of the single guide RNA and the presence of the PAM uh, motif adjacent to the target sequence in the genome. Potential off target cleavage activity uh, still occurs on DNA sequences with even 3 to 5 base pair mismatches in the PAM distal part of the SZ RNA guiding uh, sequence. Many studies have demonstrated that different guide RNA structures can affect the cleavage of on target and off target uh, studies. Uh, off target sites the reduction of uh, reduction of uh, off target activity uh, in the crispr cas9 system uh, will provide solid genotype phenotype correlations and enable faithful interpretation of genome editing data facilitate the basic and clinical applications of crispr uh, cas9 uh, technology let us have a look into the crystal structure of a single molecule dna uh, um, experiment and uh, uh, here is this uh, CRISPR Cas9, uh, you can see. And uh, here is the single guide uh, RNA, uh, uh, which is binding to the target uh, sequence. And here we have the palm uh, sequence. So, in this uh, uh, crystal structure, uh, which was uh, elucidated. It was suggested that uh, while the palm site is essential for the initiation of Cas9 binding, uh, the seed sequence uh, corresponding to 3 prime end of the CRISPR RNA complementary recognition sequence directly adjacent to palm is also critical for subsequent Cas9 binding, R loop formation and activation of nucleus activities in uh, Cas9. Uh, what is this uh, seed sequence? The single guide RNA comprises the seed sequence and uh, a non-seed uh, sequence. Uh, numerous observations have revealed that the 10 to 12 base pairs seed sequence adjacent to the palm 
determine the cus specificity and is generally more important than the rest of the guide RNA sequence. The seed sequence influences the specificity of Cas9 single guide RNA binding through multiple potential mechanisms. This sequence determines the frequency of a seed plus NGG in the genome and controls the effective concentration of the Cas9 SZ RNA complex uh, binding uh, or SZ RNA abundance and specificity. Uh, what are these uh, seed sequences and then what are their importance? Single gain RNA comprise uh, the seed sequence and non seed sequence. The 10 to 12 base pair seed sequence adjacent to the palm uh, determine the Cas9 specificity and is generally more important than the rest of the guide RNA sequence. The seed sequence influences the specificity of Cas9 single gain RNA binding through multiple potential mechanisms. It determines the frequency of a seed plus NGG in the genome and controls the effective concentration of the Cas9 single guide RNA complex. Uh, U-rich seeds are likely to result in decreased single guide RNA abundance and increased specificity since multiple use in the sequence can induce termination of SZ RNA transcription. Generally, mismatches of 1 to 5 base pairs at the 5 prime end of the single guide RNAs are better tolerated than those at the 3 prime end. Single and double mismatches are tolerated to various degrees depending on their position along the guide RNA DNA interface. SZ RNAs with exceptionally low or high ZC content tends to be less active uh, as uh, reported by many researchers. A major concern of uh, CRISPR-Cas9 CRISPR system is its high frequency of off-target activity uh, compared to other engineered nucleases. Many relevant e approaches to improve the specificity and reduce the off-target effects of the CRISPR-Cas9 system for gene editing have been uh, developed uh, such as uh, bioinformatics selection and modification of single guide RNA. Uh, fine tuning expression of CRISPR components, use of Cas9 variants and orthologs, utilization of heterologous nucleases in the CRISPR system and alternative uh, CRISPR uh, approaches. We will discuss about these uh, in brief one by one. The first is the use of bioinformatics for selection and modification of single guide RNA. The design of single guide RNA is crucial to reduce the off target mutation as it is the sole guide to control uh, Cas9. Some of the important factors are GC content, land, dots and uh, chemical modification. Uh, as the RNAs with high GC content 40 to 60 percent have been shown to improve the off ta on target activities in wheat, particularly in the high percentage of GC uh, is more proximal to the palm site, the efficiency of on target gene editing would be higher. The length of Single guide RNA is another critical factor for the occurrence of unwanted mutations. Shorter length of single guide RNA 17 to uh, 18 base pair instead of 20 have been found to exhibit a 500 fold decrease in off target events while maintaining the on target accuracy. A strategy utilizing the dead truncated single guide RNA, dead RNA off target suppression dots has been shown to reduce off target effects and increase the on target activity by 40 fold. Chemical modification is another strategy. Off target effects can be mitigated while maintaining its on target performance with single guide RNAs chemically modified with substances uh, such as 2O methyl 3 phosphonoacetate in the single guide ribose phosphate backbone and this reduces uh, the off targeting up to 120 fold. The partial substitution of CRISPR RNAs with DNA thiophosphonoacetate linkages at the termini or internal residues, site specific incorporation of 2 prime 4 prime bridge nucleic acids as well as 2 prime O methyl, 2 prime 4 prime bridge nucleic acid and phosphorothiate linkages are also uh, suggested. Another approach is the fine tuning 
of expression of uh, CRISPR components. Specificity and activity of the Cas9 single guide RNA complex are often highly condition dependent. At the lower concentrations within cells, the probability of off target, off target accept, uh, effect is reduced. Although there might be a trade off for decreased efficiency at the on target site, uh, it has been demonstrated that optimization of Cas9 and single guide RNA expression plasmid in transfecting cells can successfully reduce the off target effect while maintaining the on target efficiency. A rapid degradation of the CRISPR component in cells may also decrease the off target effects while a prolonged incubation period of the CRISPR components in the cells might increase the risk of off target binding and cleavage. Most CRISPR components are delivered by either plasmid transfection or viral vector integration which facilitates off target effects. Alternative delivery methods developed to shorten the exposure duration of the CRISPR Cas9 uh, SGRNA complex in cells such as direct uh, delivery of the Cas9 protein and in vitro transcribed SGRNA either individually or as purified complexes uh, results in reduced off target in cells. It has been demonstrated that the ribonuclear proteins were immediately degraded after targeting the CCR5 gene generating fewer off target mutations compared to the plasmid uh, transfection. Cas9 variants and autologs. The Cas9 targeting range is restrained by the requirement of a palm sequence of 5 prime NGZ 3 prime signature. However, different bacterial st strains contain Cas9 proteins recognizing different target palm sequences. Use of Cas9 autologs from other bacteria and variants can overcome this limitation. Introduction of Cas9 autologs in an organism may not interfere with Cas9, Staphylococcus aureus Cas9 and Neisseria meningitis Cas9 recognize the palm sequence 5 prime NNGRRT and 5 prime uh, NNNNGATT respectively. It was seen that uh, SA Cas9 and Cas9 did not interfere with each other indicating the possibility of editing target regions using different Cas9 autologs. NME Cas9 autolog has significantly reduced the off target cleavage and increased the target specificity in mammalian cells by exhibiting lower tolerance to base mismatches and DNA bulges. Uh, SP Cas9 NG, an engineered variant of Cas9 that recognizes NG palm instead of NGG palm, was used to expand the targeting range and improve its compatibility to the target genomic loci. Other engineered Cas9 proteins shown to nearly uh, entirely avoid non-specific DNA editing are enhanced specificity ESP Cas9 variant, hyper acute Cas9 variant or hyper Cas9 and high fidelity SP Cas9 or HF1. The on target off target indel frequency ratio of ESP Cas9 and SP Cas9 HF1 was found to be 273 fold higher than the wild type SP Cas9 showing its high efficiency in uh, gene editing. Uh, the discovery of the smallest Cas9 autologue uh, Campylobacter jejuni Cas9 CJ Cas9 and its subsequent use has greatly improved the off target effect without compromising on its on target activity. Another strategy is the utilization of uh, heterologous nucleases. Modification of the Cas9 structure reduces off target effect. A Cas9 mutant D10A Cas9 nickage or NKS N Cas9 have a lower off target rate because of the structural change in its binding region. N Cas9 instead of directly inducing double strand breaks produces a nick or single stranded break at the target site. Paired binding of N Cas9 on the opposite strand produces DSB at a higher specificity but reduced potential of targets by doubling the recognition site of the target gene. 
The strategy of paired nicking generate five prime overhangs and spar the formation of indels more frequently. Another strategy is the fusing of Fock 1 nucleus domain to either D Cas9 or N Cas9, which reduce the off target effects while increasing the specificity of gene targeting. RNA guided Fock 1 Cas9 nucleus requires dimerization and has been shown to decrease the off target activities by around 40 percent compared to Cas9 alone. Many other strategies like alternative CRISPR approaches has also been suggested which include several techniques like uh, base editing which allows direct conversion of one target DNA base into another base without the double strand breaks or prime editing which employs an engineered reverse transcriptase fused to N Cas9 and a prime editing guide RNA or PEG RNA. We will discuss about them in uh, later. Let us discuss about another strategy called CREGE which is CESIS independent recombinase assisted genome engineering. Let us now discuss about another strategy called CREGE which stands for CESIS independent recombinase assisted genome engineering. CREGE enables single step integration of large complex DNA constructs or payloads directly into the chromosomes of diverse non model bacteria. The first step is to integrate a landing pad containing a Cre recombinase gene flanked by two mutually exclusive lock sites into the chromosome via an available integration method. Then the LP landing pad is replaced with the payloads also flanked by the same lock sites mediated by Cre recombinase. The payloads are inserted with high accuracy and efficiency. Craze uh, can be extended to craze duet by introducing a third mucilage exclusive uh, lock site and uh, there are various steps in this uh, process and you can see the time uh, required for carrying out each step one uh, requires around uh, 2 to 3 days and uh, here is the method of craze duet plus uh, CRISPR. Step 2 requires around uh, 2 to 3 days which is the conjugation of donor and recipient strains. Step 3 to 4 requires 1 to 2 weeks. Here the landing pet integration and confirmation is uh, carried out and step 5 to 8 requires another 1 to 2 weeks where there is cassette exchange for uh, functional uh, studies. So, study the various uh, steps of this process a little bit in detail. In step 4 you can see the integration of the uh, step 1 to 4 you can see the integration of the two locks landing pad uh, into a, a chromosome which is kind of a preparative stage. And uh, in the step 5 the integration of uh, a operon or the gene cluster is, is taking place. This CRACE system uh, comprises a two plasmid system consisting of a two locks landing pad vector and an accessory vector. The landing pad vector contains the mariner transposes on the backbone and in between the two inverted uh, repeats is the transposon. The transposon has two lock sites as you can see here with the selectable marker and Cree recombinase uh, in between them. So, this is a uh, marker. The accessory vector contains the same two lock sites whose orientation matches those of the landing pad uh, flanking the desired non-native genes and pathways. Here you can see the landing pad transposon containing Cree recombinase and the selectable marker flanked by the LOX P and uh, LOX 5171 on a PW17 plasmid. And this is integrated to the genomes of the recipient strains and the payloads are then integrated into the LP site via Cree mediated cassette uh, exchange. Increase uh, duet system 
an LP transposon containing Cree flanked by the log sites and the selectable marker uh, flanked by log sites uh, on a PW37 plasmid is integrated into the genomes of recipient strains uh, in steps 1 to 4. The payloads are subsequently integrated into the first and second sites of the LP via Cree recombination uh, mediate recombinase mediated cassette exchange in uh, step uh, 6 to 8. So, step 1 to 4 comprises of integration of the three lox LP into a chromosome. Step 5 to 7 uh, contain integration of the first construct and step 6 A to 8 involves the integration of the uh, second construct. Uh, this is a table who shows the comparison of craze and craze uh, duet system. So, you have uh, the uh, log p sites here uh, as told earlier uh, in, in, in craze duet there is an additional third uh, log p site and uh, regarding the first uh, conjugation of the LP plasmid uh, you have here the PW17 the LP containing KMR and the Cree gene flanked by the log sites and the T7 RP gene under the control of the lac UV5 regulon outside the log sites. While here you have PW37, uh, the LP containing the crease in are flanked by uh, LOX2272 and LOXP and KMR flanked by LOXP and LOX5171. Uh, and the second conjugation where the Cree mediated cassette exchange uh, happen. Uh, the accessory plasmid here in this case of craze is PW34 and uh, also PW5Y and here we can have PW34 and PW5Y as well. So, third conjugation uh, it is not applicable in the case of craze and uh, you can see here in craze duet you have a third conjugation as well and the advantages and disadvantages of these two system. Craze is a robust system uh, demonstrated in alpha, beta, gamma, proteobacteria and actinobacteria but cons are that disadvantage only provides one integration site for the foreign DNA and uh, when we are using PW5Y back for larger payloads east, uh, centromeres, ARS, etc. The single step integration of large complex DNA constructs directly into the genomes of diverse bacteria with high efficiency and accuracy uh, is possible. In craze duet, it allows modular integration of the two constructs, uh, but some prot beta proteobacteria strains rearrange the LP to inactivate it, which is a uh, disadvantage. Uh, in the case of these PW 5Y accessory plasmid, uh, multiple editing can be achieved by performing uh, sequential editing. So, this in brief sums up the various features of craze and craze duet system and their advantages and the disadvantages associated is in, in these two uh, systems. So, these craze systems can be ideal platforms for implementing uh, uh, CRISPR uh, based uh, systems and uh, it helps in overcoming a major limitation uh, in, in, in non-model uh, bacteria. The CRISPR on cage uh, duet system has been used to characterize secondary metabolite biosynthetic gene clusters or BGCs uh, as a model system. They demonstrated that the craze CRISPR system is a simple yet compelling approach to uh, biosynthetic gene cluster uh, characterization. Okay, here you can see the scheme for the craze uh, CRISPR system. Uh, in step 1, uh, as we already know, uh, the landing pad uh, integration occurs. In figure, you can see a plasmid containing a uh, mariner transposon and transposis uh, was generated. The transposon containing an uh, LP 
comprising a clear recombinant gene flanked by two mutually exclusive lock sites and a condomycin resistant genes uh, flanked by the other two lock sites uh, are uh, shown. The plasmid was conjugated from donor E. coli into the recipient uh, with the landing pad integrated into the recipient's uh, genome. So, here you can see the scheme for the Kreis uh, CRISPR system. Uh, in step 1, as we have already discussed, the landing pad integration takes place and you can see the uh, location of the various uh, components like the uh, mariner transposon and the uh, transposis and uh, the transposon contained an LP uh, comprising a Cree recombinant gene flanked by two mutually exclusive uh, lock sites and uh, the canamycin resistant gene. The plasmid was conjugated from donor E. coli into the recipient uh, P. illuminations with the LP integrated into the recipient's uh, genome. In, in step 2, the Cree locks recombinants mediated cassette exchange uh, as shown in uh, B and E, a gene encoding uh, Cas9 or DCAS9 RNAP omega and an apramycin resistant genes APR was flanked by LOX5171 and LOXP and then the Cas9B or DCAS9 RNAPW plasmid was conjugated into the recipient cell. In uh, step 3, Cree LOX recombinants mediated cassette exchange CNF. The conjugated plasmid contain a single guide RNA carrying a repair DNA uh, or only a single guide RNA as shown in F uh, that targeted the promoters or promoter like motifs of defined uh, BGCs and a kind of machine resistance flanked by LOXP and uh, LOX2272 are uh, shown. In step 4, targeted gene expression modulation uh, is uh, depicted uh, guide, uh, by, guided by this single guide RNA uh, cast in mediated the target gene deletion with homology directed repair uh, in, in D or uh, dead cast 9 RNA P omega recruited RNA polymerase to enhance target gene expression uh, as shown in uh, figure uh, G. Curing of landing pad and castine after genome editing in uh, P illuminations. The integrated machinery uh, may confound downstream experiments, so an effective curing strategy to remove the editing cassettes after editing is necessary to minimize any phenotypic effects. For this, the castine self-targeting strategy was used to remove these scares in P illuminations. Uh, Liu et al. cloned a single guide RNA targeting castine and the genomic DNA flanking the three locks landing pad insertion site as a repair template into PCC1 force, the same backbone as PCC1-3L to generate PCC1 LPQRPW1 for uh, curing. Colony PCO was used to confirm the curing of the landing pad with integrated editing uh, machinery. Uh, to further verify the curing, they performed whole genome sequencing on selected cured isolates along with a wild type P illuminations and a landing pad with castine inserted strain. The sequence alignment of the targeted edited site and the three locks landing pad insertion uh, further confirmed the successful removal of the editing machinery. The cells also lost the curing plasmid after successive culturing without the presence of uh, antibiotics. So, here you can see the removing uh, of the editing machinery in P uh, luminescence. Uh, in step A, the curing uh, schematic diagram and screening primers are shown uh, for curing the editing machinery. The structure of the curing plasmid is uh, shown in uh, B comprising of donor as the RNA and other uh, components. Uh, in figure C, uh, we can see the PCS screening after curing uh, and uh, in figure D, we can see the sequence alignment analysis of the three strains at two specific loci on the chromosome uh, C, G, G, A, Z, C, G, G, B, B and C, G, G, B, B uh, denotes as the reads here. Uh, these are generated from a wild type strain, uh, an edited strain carrying the landing pad, Cas9 and SZRNA 
and an edited strain with landing pad uh, being removed respectively. The red vertical lines indicate the three lock sites uh, in the uh, landing pad. By integrating uh, all the components uh, into the chromosome, uh, overall in these particular experiment Liu et al have demonstrated that genome editing in bacterial cells without a need for a replicative plasmid system uh, is uh, possible and uh, the integrated landing pad and Cas9 can be removed to achieve scareless editing of uh, bacterial genome. With this we come to end of uh, this lecture, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm.